Hey, my name's Sean. Welcome to Echoes in Eternity Bourbon. Happy Thanksgiving. Have you ever eaten something that's just a little bit unusual or different than the norm on Thanksgiving or just maybe any other day? Best way to eat eggs. What's your favorite way to eat eggs? Peanut butter and scrambled egg just sandwich. Shut the fuck up. Are you just fucking I with us? Fucking lutely. I, I am so intrigued by this. I've got to make it while we're talking. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> These are farm fresh eggs. Oh, oh. <laughs> here we go. There it is. Yep, that looks perfect. Love this. I love that he just was like, okay, yeah. I'm done. All right, go ahead, Sean. That's fantastic. Shut up. No way. Uh, and there's like a crap load of protein in that right there. Score out of 10, zero out of 10. Where are you rating that sandwich? About a seven, seven and a half. Wow, Rusty, you might be on to something, buddy. It's good. Uh, uh, yeah, I freaking love it. Okay, all right, new question. Well, I mentioned before, I had that experience when I was on Whiskey Wisdom Live. Rusty was mentioned in a sandwich that he really likes to eat. We were talking about food, you know, underrated sides, things like that. And he mentioned the peanut butter egg sandwich, which was kind of in the little share right there at the beginning. It was actually very, very good. But I hope it didn't mess you up for Thanksgiving. Um, did want to do a, a quick review today over something I was able to pick up at the mistress aka the bottle shop the other day uh, this is the short barrel bees knees three coming in at 111.3 proof um, this is a double barrel toasted i love the bees knee stuff and i because i like sweet bourbon i love honey finished bourbon and so you've got a honey toasted bourbon here and i think that's a perfect way to kind of start off thanksgiving i'm looking forward to that um I tell you what, you know, you guys see I'm wearing a shirt today that says Basil Hayden, and it's not because I'm getting anything from Basil Hayden, but this is a shirt to remind me about how thankful I should be this year. Um, the young lady that got me this shirt, I've worked with her mom now for over a decade. Um, she had come down with breast cancer earlier this year, and, you know, she is fought through everything, gone through the surgeries, the chemos, the radiations, and she is cancer free. And, and it just makes me happy um, to wear this shirt because I'm so thankful for this young lady who, who you know, I've known kind of on the purview. I know it through, through her mom and, and met her a few times. She's super, super nice, but, you know, just so happy for, for her mom and for her and for her brother and for the rest of their extended family that she has beaten cancer and and i'm so thankful for that you know we we all have our own problems you know during during our life and stuff like that and i've got a good friend mark insley that tells me all the time he says you know if you had your problems all in in a in cards like you're playing a card game and you put them down on the table and, and passed them to the next person to you and you picked up their cards you'd probably want your problems back <laughs> Because no one knows exactly what everyone's dealing with. Um, but, you know, I'm thankful for all of you guys. You guys are amazing support. You guys make this so much fun. Uh, I'm thankful for the, the other content creators who, who, you know, help me out and do so, much th so many things for me. Um, and I'm so thankful for my family and my friends. And, and I tell you what, you guys are extended family and friends in a lot of ways. Because I tell you, the one thing I didn't expect when, when starting this up and it's going on 11 months now is that I would meet so many amazing, friendly, awesome people. So thankful for you all as well. Hope you guys uh, are going to have a fantastic Thanksgiving. I'll put some pictures in of kind of what I've been doing this morning. Got up early, uh, made the sweet potato souffle. I'm doing a green bean casserole, not the canned green bean casserole, but I call it an adult green bean casserole still put the little fried onions in there but it's fresh you know it's fresh green beans um, bacon fresh mushrooms um, all sauteed up and put together in a nice cream sauce so looking forward to that looking forward for, to my niece caitlin redeeming herself on the macaroni and cheese this year <laughs> so looking forward to that but looking forward to a nice day with family and friends 
Um, so let me get into this Bees Knees 3. Like I said, this is their third offering of this. Been a huge fan of theirs. Oh, man. You get a lot of things. Of course, you get honey right off the bat on that. But I'm getting a little bit of a citrus note, almost like a lemon zest type of thing going on. You're getting some of the oak in there, but it's not like punching you in the face. I'm not getting any ethanol, uh, which is nice. And as you can see, it's kind of cloudy. And that's kind of one of the character traits of this bee's knees is it is going to be generally sweet, sweet, thick, and cloudy because of all the honey that's in there. Uh, get some nice legs running down the side, nice and thick. I'm getting a little more fruit on this next pack, getting a little bit of a pear on the nose too. So I'm getting some pear, getting some honey, getting a little bit of lemon zest, um, getting some of the oak, not getting any ethanol. I know this is going to be a sweet one and it's right down my alley, but let's see what we got. Wow. This has got a little bit of a rye spice to it too, which is neat. So you're getting some pepper, some rye spice, the honey, real nice finish, not burning you up at 111 proof. Of course, you know, I drink higher proof stuff, but man, just, it looks like thick honey just streaming down the glasses on this. This is, uh, this is awesome. So. On top of the oak, the rye spice, a little bit of the pepper that you're getting on the tongue, you're getting the honey, you're getting some of that lemon zest. I got a little pear on the nose. I'm not getting so much pear on the palate, but it is, it is an outstanding sweet pour. So I'll be editing out a, a portion of this. My wife just decided to swing by and talk to me. I love her. Happy Thanksgiving to her. But this is almost like a toasted honey rye. I mean, I've got, I'm wondering what the mash bill on this is. Because this is a straight bourbon. I'll have to hunt down the mash bill on this. Um, but I'm getting a lot of the, not overpowering rye spice, but a nice rye spice to it. Some pepper to it. The honey, the lemon zest kind of thing going on. Uh, the oak going on on this. Just super easy to drink, too. Um, got a little bit of a buttery quality going on. A lot of nice things going on with this. Very, very happy with this. I'll be bringing this with me today um, to some of the guys up there at Thanksgiving. We're going to dig into this and... We're going to dig in another bottle, and, and I got some samples for them, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, I hope you and your family have an amazing day today. I hope you get to unwind. Uh, if you like to watch football, plenty of football on. Watch that today. Have some great food, some great conversation with people. Have a pour or two, but most importantly, just be together today and be thankful for all the things that you do have. Um, I, I am thankful for so many things, and, and I appreciate you all. Most importantly, I hope this time goes slow with your family. I'm praying that time slows down for you so you can enjoy the moments that you have with your family. I'm hoping that the day is fantastic and you make great memories. You know, that's the best part about the holidays is that, you know, as time goes on, you're going to miss some of the people that are no longer there. But, you know, as I go to my niece's house today, she's kind of picked up that mantle of, we're going to have Thanksgiving at my house. And it is so nice to see her do that. And I'm so proud of Caroline for that. Um, you know, not all our family can be together today. We've got family that's serving in overseas right now. You know, my daughter is with her mom and her stepdad and her and her brother. So I'm hoping they're having a great day. But we'll have a great portion and chunk of family together today. So I hope you guys have an amazing day. Cheers. God bless. And happy Thanksgiving.